Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be looking at how earthquakes and tsunamis are also formed. We'll be starting with earthquakes. Now earthquakes are typically formed at all types of plate boundaries. Volcanoes only form at certain types of plate boundaries, but earthquakes form at all types of plate boundaries. Especially they form over here in the diagram at conservative plate boundaries where we have transform movements. Movements move side to side. So these plates lock together and then suddenly they slip and they release a lot of seismic energy that you can see um, radiating outwards away from the focus. The focus is the exact point where the earthquake occurred inside the earth. On the surface of the earth, directly above the focus, that's what we call the epicenter. Now this type of earthquake is called a slip fault. Now we're going to be looking at tsunamis. All tsunamis are formed by tectonic activity. They could be formed by underwater volcanoes or more specifically underwater earthquakes. And they form in stages. The first thing that has to occur is you have to have a normal earthquake. So as you can see in diagram one, underneath the sea, the plates lock together. Uh, there's a build up of pressure between these two plates. And then suddenly they slip exactly like with the earthquake and they cause a slip fault and release seismic energy or seismic waves. In number two, what occurs is that this sudden slip of the Earth's plates releasing the energy makes the seafloor uplift or push upwards in a certain area. This releases a lot of energy upwards and it pushes the water uh, upwards in the same direction as the seafloor was uplifted. Then in number three, as you can see, what occurs is this ocean that is pushed upwards or uplifted crashes back down, creating this ripple. And these waves or ripples move outwards. And it's this ripple that is actually the tsunami. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you found it educational. If you'd like to see more content, please subscribe. And please also press like if you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much. Have a really great day.